And welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy Shay J. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now we are back with another video. If you click this video, you're probably wondering my little story time on how I'm playing college basketball. Um, and so I'm gonna go get straight into it. I'm not gonna waste y'all's time. But anyways, a little backstory. I um, graduated high school 2020, right? And I actually had three offers to play college basketball, but Sadly, I wasn't able to um, accept any of them and go play. And so that was the year of COVID. So from 2020 to 2021, I pretty much quit basketball. I didn't really touch the basketball at all. So in fall of 2021, so that's um, August of 2021, I went to college, to a university, a four-year university. And slowly and sure, but surely, I started playing basketball again. Um, through intramurals, right? So it wasn't for the score or anything like that. It was just students playing college um, basketball at the rec center for fun. They had intramurals, create your own teams, play, and whatnot. And so I, that's how I started falling in love with basketball um, over again. 2022 fall. So that's August of 2022. Once again, second year of college, still playing intramurals. Now, now this is where the good stuff starts coming spring of 2023 so last year about january february around that time right i was playing at the rec center at the university i went into at the time and some dude uh, came in and hooping i saw that he was nice we played it on the same team played against each other at the rec center and we just hooping it, hooping. Hey, introduce yourself real quick. I'm Aaron Espinosa. I am a college basketball coach. Eventually, he started showing up more consistently. And then eventually, we started chatting it up. He saw that I could play a little bit. And then I, I started telling him about my little backstory on how my goal has always to play um, college basketball for at least one year. And then um, and he was telling me how he used to play play pro but eventually we we got to be friends we got got a little bit closer and then he was telling me once again he asked me are you serious about playing college basketball and i was like yes yes at this point i'm 21 years old it's around april and i was like hey it's now or never you're not gonna get any younger at this point my bounce was up my athleticism was pretty good and so i was the bet in the best shape as i has Oh my gosh, as I have ever been. Yeah, yeah, I can talk. But eventually he was like, he invited me to some workouts at the college he coached at. Worked out with pro players, worked out with um, Jordan Walsh, um, worked out with a lot of different people. And just, and I used, playing against people like that, used, I used that as a gauge to see where my skills would be at. And at that point, some days I performed well, some days I didn't. And then eventually, he invited me to an open runs. So I went to open runs, and the head coach of the college was there. And the thing is, guess what? The head coach of the college is the older brother of the dude, of the assistant coach that even brought me there in the first place. So eventually, um, I started chatting with the um, um, with the head coach, and he asked me like, "Are you serious about playing college basketball?" And I was like, "Yeah." And so eventually, I thought I had to try out, but come to find out, I didn't. So that's literally it. Over the summer, I registered for the college, got accepted, and it was showtime. We started. Um, off season, August, at the end of August, and guess what happened? Guess what happened? Eventually, I find out that the assistant coach that brought me took another job, so he's out the door. And then the head coach, one week into workouts, we've already worked out the very first week. On that Friday of the first week, he calls up a meeting and says he's dipping. He got another coaching offer. So in a span of a week, I was like, oh, shoot, because they were my way in. 
And guess what guy did? Guess what guy did? Guess what guy did? So, eventually, a week later, the school hires another head coach. And the assistant head coach that brought me in, that was the rec play, um, that saw me at the rec center playing and brought me in, he actually coached under the new head coach that the school brought in years back. Me having concerns about, hey, a new coach is coming. I talked to the assistant head coach that brought me in. I called him up. I was like, hey, this is what I'm thinking, yada, 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 like, he could honestly bring, like, clear us out and bring in his own players or whatnot. But he didn't. The assistant head coach put in a good word for me with the new head coach. And, yeah, he kept me on. He had faith in me. He believed in me. And this is where we are today. So, first and foremost, I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for God. Like, God like orchestrated every single thing, honestly, like what are the chances that I would get noticed from a rec center, right? And the thing is, um, the assistant coach that saw me at the rec center was was only hooping there because his wife was a cheerleading coach. And so he used to work out there um, and then go see his wife and then, yeah, whatnot. But like, what are the, the chances? Like, what are the chances? That is crazy. And then what are the chances he's an assistant coach? His older brother is the head coach. And just, like, the way God works, the connections, and, like, it's crazy. And the person that I'm talking about, actually 1v1 him. I'm going to put the link um, in this video. But actually 1v1 him earlier. It's under, like, um, Shay J versus um, a pro old pro player but yeah like god really used them to bless me god really used them to connect me to different people and honestly once again i would not be playing college basketball if it wasn't for god one big lesson i want to i want y'all to take from this is keep working out and keep grinding even if you may never get an opportunity and that through this whole journey, like through my little day series that I recorded, it really tested my faith. Like, if you watch the series, you know that there are some days that I wasn't even sure that I'll get an opportunity and eventually like God did, like God did. And that's, that's just what part of the journey, continuing to be great every single day, just get better, be consistent with the greatness. And that's just like the whole, story behind me and what i'm trying to build with my name shay j shakun butter like just continuing to be great and yeah once again i would not be where i'm at without god trusting god trust he got a plan for you keep doing the work keep doing the work because once again imagine if god already had those connections lined up for me but I didn't do my due diligence and stay in the weight room or and stay on the court, getting shots up, working on my handles and stuff like that. Imagine, imagine if I got an opportunity and I wasn't ready for it. So if you enjoy this story, little story time, make sure to follow me on my journey to play Division One basketball. I mean, that's the goal at the end of the day. Who wouldn't want to play D1 basketball? But Continue to follow me on my basketball journey, wherever it takes me, wherever it takes me, whether it's Division Two, D3, any, I don't know where, where it's going to take me after this year, what YouTube is going to look like in the next year, but follow me on that journey. Follow me on all my social media accounts. Join the family. I appreciate everyone who has supported me, who has poured into me, who has... um um commented some nice things under my post to keep me going, keep me motivated, keep me encouraged. Man, I really appreciate every single one of y'all. I really appreciate y'all once again. And, and I pray that as I grow, as we grow, that I get the opportunity to bless some of y'all in the future by God's grace. Um, 
yeah and that pretty much concludes the video once again if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel y'all say it with me and what we like to say shakun butter yeah continue to be great mm -hmm.